Hey friends, now we are going to show you how you can put a debug point on a particular function module. So I, I have a requirement that I need to put a debug on a particular function module in the transaction for ME22N. I'm keeping the same transaction code for this for this tutorial because I want to make it simple for you all so that you don't get confused. You can you can use this for anything and everything. Okay, this process just to change the transaction code and of course your requirement. Okay, so you go to slash eight and uh, the same thing that the debugger is switched on. I click on save. Okay, at this point. Now, when I click on save, I this debugger session will wake up, will come up, and then when we see it and we'll put a breakpoint on a particular function. Okay, so here I go to break watch points. I click on create. Okay, and uh, we go to function, we click function modules, and we click re-narrow. Okay, could not be due to incorrect entries. Okay, so probably the function model that I'm putting is uh, different. So what I can do is CL framework MMPO. Now this is a class I took it. Okay, so let me do one thing. I think it was related to price. So here I can do a search also. So let me do a search and I hope there would be so it was something related with PO so let's go uh, price something related with P it was price PO star and we'll do F4 and if we want we can put breakpoints in multiple okay so we will show we'll try to put breakpoints on multiple okay so i will put price post prices post prices prices post, post okay so let's we'll put the breakpoint here so what i'm going to do now cancel i copied all this so i'll put one here and it will stop and so it's going through and if it doesn't stop it that means there is no it will it, it gives you an error so in the meantime it's, it's trying to do something okay and here it gave the error message so it didn't stop at that point so what we can do suppose at this point we we want to see something related with prices okay again we'll try to put a breakpoint here so let me go here and we uh, put slash h again so let's go here and we go into the desktop portion and here again we can create a breakpoint as and when we need okay so this is very very essential and the function models you know the prices post didn't get called so we can we can call some some other function models okay so let me close this it's taking forever and uh, because it's a slow system now so what I'm going to do I click on do you want to save and I click no it takes me out okay so what I can do is I can go to ME22N again and here we'll play we'll play another trick what we can do is we can click um, slash H here and the heck of it slash h uh, we can just we make some changes here and we can call the debugger and there from here we will call call function and from the call function we we can just you know we can <clears throat> find so here we could have got the function so i'll show you we do two things call function so that's the function model and here we just call uh, put a breakpoint on the call function and we'll just now click on execute and here you can see it stopped here now the same thing if i had known this before then i can put directly there okay so that's there's two ways you of it you can get the the code the debugger to stop on a particular function module or just the command call function okay 
that's it for how to call a debugger on a function.